Hey loves, Jay here with your mid-February reading for Sagittarius, Sun, and Rising, and Venus. Or if you have Sagittarius anywhere in your natal chart, this is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone out there. You can take the parts that do resonate and apply it to your life however that fits. Sagittarius, I'm feeling a, the temperance energy coming through, which is your energy in the tarot deck. That temperance energy of hope, renewal, vitality, um, um, healing, I'm also feeling a, a strong presence around you. I'm getting a grandmother. I'm seeing um, a Caucasian woman with big curls, blonde hair, um, short hair that's coming through. Um, I don't know if that res that's resonating with someone out there, but that presence is very strong around you. But it definitely feels like an energy of you being in a place of hopefulness, of taking care of yourself as well. So I feel like you may be in this place of pouring into yourself and finding balance and peace in your life from whatever it is that you have just experienced. I feel like you're on the other side of that and feeling peaceful in your spirit, which I love this energy for you. Let's go ahead and get your uh, current energy, your advice and final outcome. Your current energy is the lover's energy, Gemini here. We're going to pull these all out and then we're going to clarify each of those for you. Your advice for the month is the two of earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And your final outcome is the eight of earth. So more Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy here for you showing up. Okay, so this feels like a lot of grounding energy, which I feel like some of you are in this place of balancing and grounding in this moment. But we'll see what's coming up for you. We'll clarify each of these here for you. So lover's energy here, the number six is also ringing a bell for creativity and I'm feeling expansion as well. I'm also hearing an energy of connected to the past. So there could be an energy of you revisiting the past, connecting with people from the past or a person from the past, or maybe this is that energy that I'm feeling, that spiritual energy, a spirit being that's around you from the past. I'm feeling that energy that is coming up. So, but this is connected to a relationship, a relationship that you have with someone or had with someone. You may be weighing out decisions, and this is why I feel like the balance energy is coming in. I'm also feeling from this lover's card, I'm feeling the justice energy of a balance, okay, of truth and clarity that could be coming up for you. This is also pointing to good health as well. The lover's is also connected to a choice as well. But let's see what's coming up for you here in the tarot. This is definitely a connection with someone, whether that is past, present, or future that is coming up for you. All right. So why is the lovers here for Sagittarius? I'm hearing to be open and receptive to something or someone that is coming into your life or someone that is currently in your life right now. I'm also picking up an energy of some of you are unaware of a person that's currently in your life at this moment that may be a soulmate, but maybe you have not connected with them in that way as of yet. Okay. We have the Two of Pentacles. So we have a lot of the Two of Pentacles is here in your advice position. So we have a synchronicity here, okay, double confirmation. So currently you guys are trying to balance relationships and work and balance your emotions in, in, in something or balance your emotions with someone. I do feel like recently there has been a little bit of turbulence that you've been feeling in your emotions. And that could be due to a relationship that you could be dealing with. And you're now trying to smooth things out, trying to smooth things over. But you're trying to decide in this moment, do I pull, do I, do I invest in that or do I invest in myself or, how, or do I walk away from this or continue to pour into this is what I'm feeling here. We also have the four of cups energy. So whatever this is or whoever this is, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy here with this, or that, like I said, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or Gemini, I do feel like it's someone that you are dealing with in this moment. I'm feeling like they're not seeing what you're offering is what is, is what I'm feeling. But I feel like your energy is this two of pentacles where you're trying to balance pouring into them, pouring into yourself, or pouring into the relationship, or leaving it behind. So there's I feel like you're, they're not seeing what you see or seeing the potential in whatever this is that you may have together. But this is definitely some sort of soul tie that you have with someone that you're in right now where, again, 
you're in this place of trying to make a decision on which direction do I need to move forward in. Six of Swords, some of you are thinking about walking away from this Six of Swords energy. So you may not have made the decision to or taken the action to do it, but you may be in a place right now of thinking about, I may want to walk away from this because I'm not getting what I need. That's what this feels like because this Four of Cups center in the center of this, not I feel like they're not giving you the attention, the affection, and the love that you need. And maybe they pour in here and there, but this definitely feels like they may either turn their back on you or have turned their back on you. And again, I feel like it it can it has been a little bit turbulent. And so some of you are in this position right now with why you're thinking about walking away from a soulmate, a soul tie. I'm gonna tell you this, because some of you are in a karmic situation with this person. Make sure, and some of you also are in a very, very uh, strong agreement. And when I say strong agreement, not just, I mean a marriage as well as this karmic tie. Make sure that you have completed all of the things, all of the lessons that you needed to learn within this dynamic. So when you're walking away from this, this time, which is also part of your advice, make sure you're not returning back to that. Okay, because if you're returning back to what you knew your spirit was pulling you away from, you haven't quite learned the lesson yet. Okay, so if you're going to decide to walk away from this, make sure that you have completed all of your lessons with this person because there is a very strong connection that you have here with whoever this person may be. So that's your current energy is making a decision on do I stay, should I stay, or should I go? Um, are things going to change or can I can I show up differently? There's a lot of questions that you're asking here, but I do feel like you're seeing a change in your environment. You're seeing a change in your life. You may even be seeing a change within yourself, which has now gotten you to this point of making this decision. Do I stay or do I go? Some of you need to have a conversation is also what I'm hearing. And I'm also feeling that too in my throat chakra. So you need to have a conversation with this person. Your advice, so double confirmation, I've already said the two of earth is here. So there's too much that is definitely going on around you and within you. And this is the reason why some of you are, are feeling a bit imbalanced. And this is why that temperance energy is coming through that I'm seeing in my vision when I went into your energy of really a calm and a peaceful energy of really pouring into yourself, doing things like yoga, Pilates, going for a walk or a jog, being out in nature in this moment, pouring into something. I'm also here and getting by water. If you can get by water before the end of the month to just intentionally release this, that's part of your advice is it, it's to get by water to release and to feel a sense of groundedness. And when I think of the sand, when you're trekking through the sand, like it gets, it's hard sometimes. It's hard when you're trekking through the sand because it's, you're not on even ground. So you have to find balance. You have to get into a place where you level out, right? Some of you, when you get to the sand and you're walking across the sand, your goal is to get to a place where you can sit and rest. And this is what spirit is trying to convey through that me, this vision of trekking through the sand. You get to a place where you're going to either stand, you're going to sit, you're going to lie down. If you're at the beach, you're going to you're going to do these things for yourself. You're going to get to a place where you could feel stable and complete and happy that you're connecting with the water. OK. Some of you are feeling like you have to make an abrupt decision. You don't have to make an abrupt decision. First, I think you need to get with yourself is what I hear. You need to get with yourself first here, Sagittarius, and figure out what is it do that I want to do? What do I want to do in this situation? If I can remove my heart, because there is such a strong tie between you and this person, if I could remove my heart energy, that connection from them, what would I do? If also, if I were my inner child looking at myself, what would I tell her? What would I tell him? You wouldn't want to go through some of this because we would see our inner child as a child that we're caring for and we wouldn't want to put them through some of the things that you're allowing yourself to go through right now as an adult Sagittarius. Okay, so let's pull some cards around this. 
some of you may also need to consider a more playful approach, which means that would be that would mean for me what I'm conveying to you is to take care of yourself in this moment and find some fun and happiness. What's going to which what can you pour into that's going to bring you joy and happiness instead of some of this angst and instability that you're going through in this moment or have been going through because that lover's card is also a cycle. Nine of Cups. So there you go. Fun. What fulfills you is your question. Do that and do more of that and then more of that. Okay, so that is what you need to do. Pour into, make a decision to pour into yourself the way that you were pouring into a relationship or pouring into a job. That relationship can show up romantic or friendships, however, and this could be multiple people, not just one, but I definitely feel like what the energy that you're currently in is an energy of someone that if you're connected to, we have a very strong bond with, and it's like water and fire sometimes. Sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. Like, I feel like it's a back and forth energy with the two of you here. So find fun, peace, and desire. Look, temperance, look at this. Look at God. Look at God coming on out. Okay? The temperance is here. This is exactly what I'm talking about here. Pouring into yourself. Peace. Balance. Emotion. Balancing your emotions. Getting by water. Doing yoga. Pilates. Going for a walk. Going to the beach and just relaxing to find some even ground. You're going to find your peace. You're going to find your clarity as you begin to pour into yourself here, Sagittarius, and this that is the message. I'm so I'm so happy that this temperance card came out. It makes me feel emotional because I feel like some of you have lost yourself in something or someone. And I feel like your heart is your heart is really attached to them or to whatever this is and you pour into it and you have taken so much from yourself. And now it's time to give back to you because I feel like things that around you became gloomy they became dark things died people fell off you lost yourself and there are moments there are glimpses of happiness within this dynamic that you've had with this person but this is you rebuilding your relationship with yourself with your inner child some of you haven't even gotten to know him or her and it's time to do that so this is about renewal and renewal and healing some of you are also needing to seek professional assistance like hiring a facilitator to do energy work, body work. So go get a massage, pour into yourself, get energy work. I also offer remote healings as well. I mean, it's super beneficial to relieving stress and promoting relaxation. And also we connect with your guides and angels to see what they want you to know right now and how that can help you moving forward on your journey. Okay, so your advice is to pour into yourself here. I'm going to leave that at that. Your final outcome for the month is the eight of earth. Okay, so <clears throat> I feel like part of this, some of you are going to be doing research or studying, going back to school, um, learning a new trade so that you can further your education or further your career or expand your career, career or expand the business, but you're learning another level. Some of you are learning another aspect of yourself is here you really um, what am i saying some of you are learning another aspect of yourself so you're really pouring into yourself i do feel like you're going to be taking all of the experience and knowledge and wisdom that you have and pouring it into moving on from something and bettering yourself for your highest good and those that are involved so those i feel like those gloomy and dark days that are are falling away i feel like Things are, be going, are going to begin to grow as you pour into yourself here. Let's pull some. And, and I'm looking at its eight of earth. We are in a universal eight years. So this is a year of manifestation, balance, wealth, and abundance. So I feel like it's, it's about you, Sagittarius. This is what this feels like. Pour into yourself. Regardless if you are in a very happy um agreement with someone you're in a happy you're you're happy with your job this doesn't mean that you're allowed to neglect yourself i'm not i don't allow that okay <laughs> jay doesn't allow you to neglect yourself so pouring into yourself here look at the empress beautiful 
grounding energy. So I feel like you're going to be stepping into this energy here, pouring into yourself, feeling grounded, feeling more abundant, really protecting your heart. But you still can leave your heart open even if you protect your heart. But I do feel like you use discernment better than you did before. So you're not going to let anyone into your space. Some of you are holding on to a cycle that has com is completely outdated and has completely like the ties have been cut a long time ago, but you're still holding on to something or someone. OK, so this is a time where you pour into yourself and let things I feel a vibrancy, let things blossom for you. I feel a very vibrant energy. I also feel like you guys are going to be taking care of yourself towards the end of this month. If you haven't already really pouring into that self-love, self-care, like whether that is doing your makeup, you know, going to the barber, getting your hair cut, getting your hair dyed, getting your hair done, you know, curled, cut, whatever, and really wanting to look nice. And it's not even about appeasing other people. It is an energy of I'm doing this because I feel good. And that's what I love. I do that on a daily basis. I have a lot of Sagittarius in my chart. Strength card here is for you, is showing up for you as well. So we have a lot of major arcanas that are coming up for you. So whatever it is that you're needing to let go of, you'll find the courage to do it and you'll find the strength to get through it. Okay? Find the courage to do it and the strength to get through it. Okay, so that is that final outcome that is coming up for you. So don't be afraid. Do what is best for you and watch the sparks fly. Okay, watch how your life begins to shift and watch how things begin to open up. As I'm looking at this field here, it is so open. I mean, I feel like you, you can see everything and I also feel like you've grown a lot. So this is a growing phase for some of you as you step outside of this cycle that you've been holding on to because you're afraid to let it go for whatever reason whatever is meant to be is going to come back to you but some of you are stunting your growth because you're holding on to it okay so don't be afraid to take that next step to take the leap um and things are going to be looking brighter for you sagittarius if you take that advice and you really pour into yourself okay so that is your reading thank you all so much for tuning in for your mid-february reading i will see you guys for march enjoy the rest of the month many blessings to you love and light peace